So um, there's been some confusion about something I've, I've uh, some things I've been saying, <laughs> um, and I'd like to clear it up because um, I, I, I like clarity and I like to explain things and be very specific so that there's no confusion. <clears throat> or at least I try. I try to be very specific in the things I say. So I don't like there to be uh, misinterpretations and shit like that. Um, I have said a lot of things lately that are pro-women, if you will, and, uh, and may sound anti-man. I'm not anti-man. I'm not, I'm not against men. I'm not. Um, I've had to really change my, my ex I've had to, I've had to kill some expectations, but I don't hate men. I have not hated men since I, um, I, since I turned 30 was when I finally quit hating men. <laughs> That's how long it took because I started dating when I was 14. So it, it took a long time to quit hating them, but I did. And I don't get online anywhere to sit here and just run my mouth and just trash them, you know, because fuck them. You know, I'm not, not, that's not my agenda at all. My plan, my master plan is to show women especially, because that's who I, that's who I'm talking to when I talk. I'm talking to women. I'm trying to tell them and teach them and show them that it's okay to talk about things that they are struggling with because I know, for obvious reasons, I know what they're struggling with. I get it, obviously, because I've got the same damn problems. But I don't, I don't hate men. But what I'm trying to do is, is point out to women why they're having the problems they're having with men because we all, we all have the same problems with them, no matter what country we're in or what, what year it is or anything. None of that matters. It's fucking universal. Um, and because of that, you know, th there's shit that just has to be addressed because I know everyone is going to get it, uh, when, when they read it or hear me say it. And women, especially, you know, to this day are still taught that they can't discuss this and they can't discuss that because that's taboo and this is taboo and they shouldn't, whatever. And that's stupid. And, um, you know, that's just stupid. So, I want them to see that it's okay for us to talk about the things we're struggling with, you know. And that includes, yes, sexual shit. It includes that. Now, things have changed. You know, we, we, can, we can discuss those things kind of openly and, and get online or get in books and read articles about it and whatever else. You know, so a, a lot has changed and we are free, finally, to discuss, you know, um, our bodies, and the problems we have with them. So I, I'm, I'm grateful for that. You know, women's lib didn't do us a lot of favors, but it's at least, you know, made things less taboo to, to finally talk about. Um, because we are human beings and, and uh, human beings ought to be allowed to discuss things that go on with us, with each other. You know, there shouldn't be an off limits topic, uh, uh, you know, just because somebody else doesn't want to hear it. Well, you know, if a woman wants to talk about her struggles with Climax, I, I think she ought to be allowed to talk about that because th there can be a solution, number one. There can be a solution. Two, there's nothing to be ashamed about because it's, it's, it's your body. It's, it's a design that you were given um, from, you know, whoever, whatever you believe in. And, and you're, you're having to work with this design for as long as you inhabit it. You know, you ought to be allowed to discuss it and, and understand it and learn about it and be taught about it. And embrace it and and eventually you know hopefully love it grow to love it and be proud of it and and use it you know to help you get through life I don't see why that's an issue um, there are a lot of people who would who would tell us that that's you know uh, not cool but I really don't care <laughs> but the reason I, I touch on the topics I touch on especially for us there's other stuff I talk about that's like in general that affects everybody you know Everybody, me and men and women, not everyone on every single person on the planet, obviously. We've all got different issues, but there's stuff that I talk about that does affect both of us. <clears throat> you know, shit that goes wrong at work and, and struggles with anger and things like that. That's all, that's, can hit all of us. But when I'm talking about women's issues and the things that I know we all go through, 
what I'm trying to tell you is that number one, it's okay to say it. It's okay to say what's wrong. Because we're still being told a lot of the time, depending on how we grow up, depends on how we grow up. But a lot of us are still being taught that, you know, this is off limits, that's off limits. Don't do that, be this, be this, you know. Uh, don't be a nuisance, don't get in the way. Uh, don't bring attention to yourself, but look good. Don't, um, you know, make things difficult for other people. Uh, but express yourself, you know. It's just like there's so many damn contradictions that I've got to somehow fill, you know, and it's like stupid. And um, that, you know, that's impossible to uphold. It's really impossible to uphold. So, <clears throat> also, you know, and I, and I think you deserve to know this too. I cannot call myself a women's life coach and sit here and not touch on certain topics. That's not hypocritical. I don't know what the word is for that, but you see what I mean? I, I wouldn't be able to sit here and be like, yeah, I can help you. And then you, and then you bring up something that, you know, I think is too taboo to talk about. That's stupid. That's stupid. Why would I do that? I say, I claim I'm here to help you. Damn it. I better keep my word. You know, I want to be that person that can help you. So yeah, let's talk about it. Let's, let's discuss it. We'll figure it out. Let's hit, let's hit on that topic. That's your struggle. Let's, let's see it. Let's go. You know, so I don't want to be somebody that's like, you know, carry myself a certain way and then like, I'm not really that way. You know, I don't want that. I, I, ha I have been sincere and genuine with y'all the entire time and I am, will continue to do so. And I will be very unpopular for it. <laughs> and I don't mean to martyr myself or any of that shit. I don't care about that either. You know, I just, I just want to say what's up. And I tell y'all shit. And I want us to discuss things because uh, you deserve to be heard and you deserve to be heard by people who understand you who have also been in the same position and um, you deserve to learn and have the opportunity to learn and understand things and understand why you go through what you go through and why things are happening to you and, um, and, and, and what you're doing to yourself that is continuing to hurt you that you don't have to do anymore. You deserve to know those things. You know, it, it, it doesn't have to be some, you know, play. It's not a Broadway thing. We're not all pretending here. You know, this, it, let's let's get real. <clears throat> so, you know, when, and especially especially when I tell you shit about my life, because about ninety percent of the shit I say <laughs> is traces back to some shit I've been through. And and I tell you this shit because I want you to see that you're not alone. And that it can be talked about and it can be figured out. It can be figured out. You know, because women really stick themselves in, in a mindset where, you know, there's no solution. There's no solution. There's no fixing. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Um, there's no fixing. It. I can't do anything. I don't have any power. Blah, blah, blah. I don't have any power. You know, how many times have you told yourself that? We got to get rid of that shit, you know, and it's baby steps because we're so ingrained to think that, you know, like I say, for example, we need men to help us with every little thing or we're not going to make it. We're not going to survive if, if we don't have men helping us with certain things that we can't do on our own. Look, I hate to, I'm not trying to sound like a feminazi. That's not my intention necessarily. But I'm telling you, you know, you can do shit these days. It's not 1700. You can do things these days without, you know, having to ask a man's permission. You know, you can pursue things on your own. <clears throat> You can run your own business. You can buy your own house. You can, you know, you can do shit. You can learn things. You can change the oil in your own car. You can learn how to do that. You know, it's not, they make it seem like it's something you'll never figure out and, and you're just going to be lost without. It's not. You can do it. You can do it. So, and I'm not, I'm not trying to bash men, but I'm trying to clear, I'm trying to, you know, show women that, we do, you know, all kind of have the same problems with men and it's okay to realize that and it's okay to admit to it and it's okay to sit down and discuss it and try to figure it out. And the punchline I'm trying to get to with this damn video is this. <laughs> A lot of the times, and this applies to men as well. This is, this is universal. I don't care who you are. If you're a human being that's like up walking around experiencing things, this probably applies to you. A lot of the issues you're having with men or women or dogs or whoever, <laughs> whatever you're interested in, 
you're having problems with people a lot of the time because you don't know enough about yourself. You don't know enough about yourself. Look at my life. Look at the things I've been through and the things that, that happened to me that I allowed to happen to me. Number one, because I didn't have any self-respect or self-love, of course, which is, you know, like one of the worst things you can do to yourself. But also, look at all, all the things, you know, th that I went through, especially, because I can use myself as an example, of, of course, that, uh, that happened to me because I didn't know myself well enough or have an understanding of myself well enough to, um, to prevent it, you know, or, or to, or to do better. Shit, I got so much stuff in the back. Fuck, oh, I can't see it. Okay, no, this is good. Um, you know, if you don't understand yourself and, and what you need and your and if you don't understand your values and your morals and what's important to you and and your needs and the things you want and the things that you have your heart set on that you don't even realize people are not in touch with themselves they're not in touch with themselves and and then they wonder why shit goes wrong all the time you're not listening to yourself and this is everybody i don't care who you are you know but but people don't listen to themselves and they do shit because they think it'll make them happy or they want to make somebody else happy or they think it's what they want because that's what they've been taught would make them happy, especially women. Women are taught what will make them happy, which is why they're so damn miserable because they're doing what they're told instead of what they fucking want. <laughs> and um, that's why they get waist deep in something and then they change their mind. You know, they're, they're realizing it's not it's not the right thing after all. And, and that is uh, universal. And I have done it. And that was because, uh, and I've done it more than once. And that was because I, I you know, was realizing that I, I didn't, I was starting to get in touch with myself about what I wanted and what I didn't want. And especially what I didn't want. And I just thought, well, shit, you know, I, I shouldn't be doing this. I got to get out of this because this is, I'm realizing my boundaries, for example. <clears throat> and the reason I talk to women about this stuff is because obviously I understand their problems. You know, I, I understand their complaints and I understand their struggles and I understand their confusion. And so I, I cater to them. But it doesn't mean that I hate men or I don't understand men. I do understand you, you know. I understood my father very, very well. He and I actually, you know, uh, have more, I've got more in common with him than I, than I would with any other man ever. And I lost him 11 and a half years ago, so it's, I'm feeling pretty lonely. <laughs> um... You know, don't think I, I've gotten some replacement. I haven't, and I and I never will, and that hurts. That hurts. Cause, cause, if you have a good father, I'm gonna tell you right now, once he's gone, that's it. Nope. I, you know, I, I mean, I'm not trying to bring you down, but there's a good ass chance you're not gonna get a husband that's just like him, or that's gonna be able to understand you on that level and accept you on that level. If you do, good. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying, you know, don't look for that. Um, you know, I was one of the lucky ones. Dad had his rough edges, but, you know, as I got older, and of course, especially after he died, I forgave him all of that. But, um, <clears throat> you know, um, women, they... They're afraid to try to expect anything from themselves, I think, because they're afraid they can't do shit. They're afraid that there's things they can't do and will never learn how to do and they'll never be able to do and they'll never be smart enough to do. And so they'll put their hopes and their expectations into somebody else, a man, and, and hope that he can do it and he can come through. And then when he doesn't, for whatever reason, she's feeling completely lost and, and, uh, just rock bottom, you know, well, what do I do now? You know, and, and, and that is, is one of the worst feelings ever. It's one of the worst feelings ever. So that would probably have to be a whole other video on its own, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to be clear about the shit I say and why I say it. Because, you know, a lot of people get their feelings hurt by the things I say. <laughs> and that's going to be that way until I die and, and thereafter. So, <laughs> um, 
in 100 years when people are watching these videos, if YouTube is still around or whatever, you know, and they see my stuff, I'm going to say they're going to hear things that, you know, don't sit well with them. And to be honest with you, I don't care because I'm there's always going to be somebody out there who understands what I'm saying. I'm, I'm happy to connect with that one person, whoever they are, and say, you know what? I get it. I get it. Human connection is, is, is so much more valuable than, than people think. We don't even have to know each other. Well, obviously, the most, people, most of the people I interact with are, are people I've never met. It's people online. I talk to people all the time. You know, um, but uh, people that don't like me, they can stop talking to me. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not offended. But I'm just trying to explain, you know, because obviously some clarity is needed. You know, I'm just trying to explain why I say the shit I say. And it's for a lot of reasons, but you know, one of them is I, I want y'all to understand that you're not alone in how you feel and, and what you're going through. I'm, I'm feeling that way too. I'm going through it too. And that it's okay to talk about it. And that, <clears throat> you know, the, and this is the big part, like I say, a lot, of the re a lot of the big reasons why you're going through what you're going through is because you don't know yourself. You just don't know yourself well enough yet. You can. But right now you don't. And that's why you keep having fucking, you know, bullshit struggles and, and resistance and, and things like that, you know. We can get into that deeper another time. I just, you know, I, I gotta save that for a whole other video. But I just want to, you know, be clear about why I run my mouth. <laughs> for lack of a better way to put it. Because I do run my mouth, rather. You know, I, I, I'm aware of that. I do that. I know I do that. But I'm doing it for a reason. Because I, you know... I have I have a, a reason for my madness, <laughs> so I hope that that helps. I hope that that you know clears things up. And for the people who are pissed off, you know that's okay to be pissed off. It's okay if you don't understand what I'm saying and you laugh. That's okay. If you do understand what I'm saying and it hurts your feelings because you you know because you feel it, that's okay. Um. At least you're learning about yourself, which is what I wanted in the, in the first place. So, <laughs> kind of just goes in full circle, doesn't it? But, I mean, I'm not trying to be condescending. I'm just, I'm trying to be plain with y'all. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not going to dance around shit. You know, we're not Victorians. I'm not going to sit here and, like, you know, avoid shit. Avoid topics and issues. I'm not going to do that. You know, let, let's pinpoint it and discuss it and figure it out. That's my whole agenda. Let's figure shit out. Let's figure life out. And I've had I've had people, you know, in short, for lack of a better way of putting it, ask me, you know, who the fuck I think I am. Um, and my answer usually is, um, besides a good person who's trying their best and someone who cares, is someone who's trying to connect with people and and to show you that we're all humans just trying to get through this life. We're just trying to get through this shit. That's it. So that's who the fuck I think I am since that's up for debate. <laughs> I'm not trying to like hurt y'all's fucking feelings. I'm trying to help you. If you're not ready, fine block me it's okay you know it, you're not ready and it's okay <clears throat> but I'm not you know I won't hold it against you it's, you don't want to hear it then don't but if I'm not uh, if I'm not for you then then fine um because for every person that hates me there's 10 more that like me <laughs> sorry no I'm not trying to be a bitch but you get what I'm saying um but I, I want to help y'all and I want to support you and, and, uh, and show you that, uh, I, you know, somebody believes in you and believes in your potential and, and wants you to do whatever you have your heart set on, whatever your dreams are for your life, whatever you want to build for your life. You know, you want to buy a house, you want to have your own car, you know, you want to own your own business, you want to travel the world, whatever. I don't, whatever, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's build you up, you know. So that you can believe in yourself enough and realize that you can do those things. And then you turn around and fucking pursue it and make it happen. And then it's like, oh, the rest was history. You know, it was like the previous life didn't even happen. Because it wasn't even who you really were anyway. 
that's my point. So I'm going to leave it at that. 20 minutes is long enough to get my point across. Even though my other videos say different. My other videos are like 45 fucking minutes and I'm sitting there talking. But anyway, I think I've got my point across. So I'm going to leave it at that. But that's why I do the shit I do. It's because I'm determined to help you and, and determined to try to make this world better in whatever way I can. And, and, and to um, support you. <clears throat> and, and to bring you clarity. You know, so that you can understand things. If you understand things, you, you'll cut yourself a break. Number one, you'll give yourself a break. And you'll pursue things you have your heart set on that you've been afraid to pursue. You know, you shouldn't be afraid to go after things that make you happy. I was. Look how long I made myself suffer. For what? Thankfully, I'm still kind of young. So it's like, it's not as bad. <laughs> you know, but I mean, I just want to support people. I just, you know, I, I believe in you and, and there's no reason not to. There's no reason not to. So that's, that's my point. So I'm going to leave it at that for tonight, but I hope that that helps. Um, and as always, you know, y'all can always message me, comment, you know, um, <clears throat> find me on Facebook or Instagram, whatever, message me. I'm, I'm always around, always around. So, you know, there's always a way to get in touch with me and just discuss shit or ask me something or whatever. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make time for you. And, uh, you know, but I want you to, to believe in yourself and love yourself and, and give yourself a chance to believe in yourself. What's that thing that was on Twitter, I think, and it said, my dad told me, you know, you believe in Santa Claus for eight years. You can believe in yourself for five fucking minutes. You know, <laughs> Santa Claus wasn't even there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that kind of shit. That's the clarity I want you to have. So, um, anyway, I'll leave it at that. I hope that puts things in perspective. I'll leave it at that for now. But, um, you know, y'all know where to find me, okay? Thanks.